Welcome to our Ford Focus service video. Today, we'll be diving deep into the world of automotive maintenance to ensure your Ford Focus stays reliable and ready for the road ahead. But before we get too excited with that, Let's pop the bonnet because our first step of a service is a fully visual comprehensive inspection and then let's see what's going on under there first. Now that we've finished examining every beginning, every hose that I can see, every plug that I can see, uh, every wire that I can see, it seems to be intact and functional, perfect, and no repairs need doing here. Um, before we go any deeper and get our hands dirty, let's get some vehicle PPE on and protect the customer's seats, the floor, and the paintwork. Now that we know that we're not going to transfer dirt anywhere, let's get our hands dirty, starting off with the air filter. Now obviously changing that air filter isn't actually that dirty, so before I do slide underneath and get too dirty. I like to come into the cab, particularly on these vehicles, and change the pollen filter, which is here, into the glove box. I don't know what's actually going on here in Wales. But I've had to just take my jacket and my hat off because I'm sweltering. The sun is actually out. That was a... But anyway, with that actually done, delaying the dirtiness again for a little bit, we're going to come under here. We're going to check coolant strength. We're going to check boiling point on the brake fluid and any other fluids in here really that need to be tested. We're going to be testing them, topping them up if needed.
Right, we're finally under here now, and we're going to continue our process of a thorough visual inspection. We're checking things like the wall joints, the um, track or end boots, CV boots, and anything else that we can visibly see without dismantling everything. So, so a little movie around any faults. Now, whilst that's draining, instead of just watching it drain, we're going to use our time more efficiently and we're going to be checking our tyres and our brakes because safety factors like this are the most important part. We don't want this car to be going out on the road unsafe. You're going to want to be using good quality parts, at least um, original quality matching, if not OEM, things like Bosch and MAN filters and MAL filters are, are brilliant filters and if they're available to you, you should definitely use them. Something else that needs to be considered is your tooling. Now, you don't have to go out and spend thousands of pounds on snap-on tools. You can use tools off of eBay or Amazon are considerably cheaper, but they have to be the appropriate tool. You obviously don't want to use an adjustable spanner on the sun plug and strip that out because that will give you headaches. Um, you're also going to want things like torque wrenches. Um, as you... I like to use these longer handle spat and ratchets because they give more leverage and make cracking things off a lot easier. But unfortunately, because it's longer and it's got more leverage, you can over tighten things. That's why you need your torque wrench. Now that brings me on to my top tips. One, put a bit of red rubber grease on these coolant caps. They do like the seize, so putting a bit of red rubber grease creates a better seal and keeps it slippery so it doesn't seize. The next one would be to get one of these spray bottles so you can clean off any oil that's left over from the oil change. Number three would be to get yourself some clear grease from Grease Ape and just grease the hinges on the doors, on the bonnet, and on the boot. This is just a bit of a preventative maintenance that goes a long way. Obviously the clear grease doesn't leave yucky residue everywhere, like the white grease does. Obviously it looks more aesthetically pleasing. And just like that, we finished carrying out some routine maintenance on this Ford Focus. Don't forget, a little bit of maintenance goes a long way, and we'll save this customer a lot of money in the long run. So don't forget to get yours done.